Hi, this is Krish. Here we are learning idioms. Just five idioms a day. Friends, when you want to speak English fluently, you need to learn and practice the idioms. If you are going to take any exams like ALS, TOEFL, TOEIC, KT, PET, or even for your daily conversations, learning idioms will help you a lot. So let's begin. Today is day three. Friends, if you have missed the lessons, five idioms a day, day one and day two, you will find them at the end of this video. So you can watch them and boost your language. Let's start day three. In this video, we are taking five idioms. The first one, get in someone's hair, shoot off one's mouth, jump down someone's throat, pay through the nose, and the last one, tongue in cheek. Now, number one, get in someone's hair. That means to annoy or bother someone, usually by being present all the time. For example, their snobbishness gets in my hair. My flatmate has been getting in my hair a lot. Don't get in my hair today because I don't have the patience for it. Number two, shoot off one's mouth. That means to speak without discretion. To express one's opinions loudly. For example, Jim doesn't play tennis much, but he's always shooting off his mouth about how good he is. He talks as if he knew everything about the game. Don't go shooting your mouth off about how much money you earn. The similar words for this idiom you can say brag or boast. Number three, jump down someone's throat. That means to respond angrily to someone, become angry with someone, or to yell at or scold someone harshly. For example, I made a mildest of criticism and he jumped down my throat. He jumped down my throat when I suggested a different plan. I was about to say that I agree with you before you jump down my throat. You don't have to jump down my throat. That means you don't have to angry with me. Number four, pay through the nose. That means you pay much more than a fair price. To pay unreasonably high prices. For example, they paid through the nose for one-to-one -one intensive tuition. If you visit any major city these days, you had better be prepared to pay through the nose for a hotel. We had to pay through the nose for this insurance policy. Number five, tongue in cheek. When you say something tongue in cheek, you say in an ironic, flippant or insincere way. That refers to a humorous or sarcastic statement expressed in a more serious manner. If you say something tongue in cheek, you intend to be understood as a joke, although you might appear to be serious. You can say, I was just joking. For example, he said that he was a huge fan of Rahul Gandhi, although I suspect it was tongue-in-cheek. The president's tongue-in-cheek speech about war on couch potatoes has been extremely popular on the internet. That's it friends. Just five idioms a day. Keep watching and learn real English. The more you practice, it will be easier for you to use these idioms naturally in your conversation. Now, we have day one and day two videos here, so you can watch them and improve your idioms. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.